Now, how does taurine deficiency compromise cellular functions? To do so, we looked at uh, a, a specific cell type here, which is uh, bone cells, which make bone. And these bone cells express a lot of taurine transporter. And if we knock out taurine transporter, taurine is goes down in these cells. These cells function less. They have a less ability to mineralize bone. And in vivo, they are able to function less. They have a less osteoblast numbers. They have less bone ability to form new bone. And when you supplement taurine in the control animals, the bone uh, osteoblast numbers increase, osteoblast uh, function increase. When you def make animals deficient, uh, these cells are not able to function in vivo as well, as can be seen on the right-hand side. So using these cells, next we performed a RNA sequencing analysis, which showed that taurine deficient cells had abrogation of variety of aging features. So with age, our cells get compromised, our function of these cells get compromised, and these compromising functions of cells can be described in terms of nine hallmarks of aging. And these hallmarks of aging are telomere shortening, cell-cell communication get compromised, cells have more uh, senescence, uh, and there is an increased accumulation of these senescent cells, or zombie cells, we call it, in different tissues. They cannot sense nutrients very well. They have a epigenetic changes in their DNA. They have a more DNA damage and in genomic instability. Their proteostasis goes down. Their mitochondria are less functional and they have more stem cell exhaustion. Overall, these changes lead to different aging features. And when we looked at the network analysis of this entire transcriptome, we identified that the senescence was especially enriched in taurine deficient cells. And this was forming a node in the, these genetic changes or the transcriptomic changes in the cells which are having taurine deficiency. So senescent cells with age accumulate in the body. These cells are known, also known as zombie cells and they have they produce a lot of inflammatory cytokines such as um, interleukin, uh, interleukins, chain of alpha, and they lead to a variety of degenerative changes in different tissues. To understand whether senescent cells were contributing to this dysfunction, we looked at in, in vivo in taurine supplemented mice. The blue staining here is senescent cells, and in the brain, senescent cells reduced, in liver, senescent cells reduced, in fat, senescent cells reduced among other tissues that we tested. And when you have taurine deficiency in a, in a taurine transporter knockout mice, you can see that the liver has more blue staining, fat as well as brain has more blue staining, showing that upon taurine supplementation, you have reduced senescence, and upon taurine deficiency, you have acceleration of senescence. To directly test whether senescent cells contribute to the dysfunction of taurine dependent um, aging phenotypes, we now turned our attention to taurine deficient mice, which have more senescence, and these senescent cells accumulate in their different organs. So we reason that if you remove senescent cells, these animals may live longer or not. And that is what we tested by using senolytic drugs, desadenib and quercetin. So taurine we fed taurine deficient mice with these two molecules that are known to suppress the amount of senescent cell accumulation. Their bone density improved, taurine, the, the senolytic treated animals have more bone density, more muscle strength, less anxiety, and their memory was improved. And these animals, which were given senolytics, lived around 20 to 22% longer compared to control animals which are taurine deficient and were given water. So taurine suppresses senescence. The next parameter we looked at is telomere attrition. With age, the telomeres get accumulated, the telomere gets shortened. And now, if you have telomerase deficiency, that means they have, they are, have a sh no telomeres. These telomerase deficiency uh, animals have increase senescence in them. 
So you can see this is a telomerase deficient fissures here. And with the telomerase deficiency, there is more blue staining that is increased accumulation of senescent. And when you treat them with taurine, the senescent numbers goes down. You can see the blue staining is reduced in 300 micromolar taurine and 10 millimolar taurine. And this is quantified on the right-hand side. And these telomerase deficient fishes die, 40% or 50% of them die within uh, 10 days after fertilization. And when you treat them with taurine, they have a 100% rescue of telomerase deficiency induced consequences on organismal health. Next, we looked at DNA damage. And we saw that DNA damage was reduced in, by taurine supplementation. They had more, and in a taurine deficiency, they had more DNA damage. And if you treat now with the DNA damaging agent such as paraqua, you have this red line here, which is paraqua treated animals. But when you treat them with taurine, they had an improved survival in vivo in animals. So taurine suppresses DNA damage.